Greetings, Star Citizens. Drakanis here with an update on the Lenovo Y510P and the Star Citizen Hangar. I know my last video was, to put it nicely, amateur. I uh, did some research, did some looking around, talked to some, some of the uh, other people in the community, and now I think I've got it nailed down pretty good. Unfortunately, I just spent two hours on a well-done video that won't export because for some reason the file won't export past changing the settings the first go around. So what we're going to do this time is do a best use scenario. So the settings I'm going to use are going to be this video and then I'll do one of the uh, high settings on 1080p that way you know what those look like compared to what I'm currently using and just to remind everyone if you're not uh, if you haven't looked at the post or anything like that this is the uh, Lenovo Y510P laptop it does have the Core i7 processor in it uh, although currently I am only running the single NVIDIA GeForce 755 mobile in it as opposed to the uh, second adapter uh, in SLI configuration. Unfortunately, the adapter that is supposed to go into the optical disk drive and allow you to run SLI on this machine is backordered. So when that comes in, I will do another uh, video update it with the SLI performance, but this is what I have for now. Go into graphics settings to show you what I'm running. Uh, 1366 by 768 on low quality. I don't really see a ton of difference between the low, medium, and high quality to warrant the uh, several frames that it reduces the games to go at higher settings. Uh, now, very high settings, I do notice a difference, but again, for me, I would rather deal with a little bit less quality and a little bit higher frame rate. So let's get out of the Hornet and walk around the hangar a little bit. Sitting in the Hornet I was getting between 35 and 37 frames and getting out I'm still getting about 30. So now we're in the hangar, and I do apologize for the slow mouse movement. I am using the trackpad. My wireless mouse, unfortunately, <laughs> died, and I'm not really feeling like running upstairs just to grab a mouse. So, of course, Freelancer here will go ahead and hop in it, and if I can find where to get in, hop in it, take a look at the controls in it, interior surface. Uh, I am running about 20 frames a second in here, but at 20 frames it's actually pretty smooth. Most YouTube videos, and this YouTube video also, is running at 24 frames a second. Uh, that's also, I believe, what most Hollywood movies run at is uh, 24 frames a second. One of my favorite tests to do as far as performance goes is uh, run around in the buggy uh, just because of how unoptimized everything in the game is right now. That seems to be like the best test of system resources. And running around in it, I'm getting about 25. Uh, the further I get down towards the other end of the hangar, of course, the less ships it's showing. So now I'm running at about 32. Oop. I'm just not doing very good driving, but it is playable. I mean, I'm not having an issue with any of the graphics, 
Although motion blur does disturb me, there's a way to turn it off. You have to do it in the console every time you load the game. Uh, it's just unoptimized. Uh, eventually, I'm sure there will be a nice little checkbox that you can turn it off. The way I think of it is, I don't have motion blur when I move my head around the room. Why, why should my advanced computer have to do motion blur? But, yeah, so, this is the hangar at 720 resolution on the uh, Y510P. And I know I'm anxiously waiting the Banu Merchantman, especially after the last letter from the chairman where he showed us the, I believe it was the brief, no, not the briefing room, the uh, negotiation room. And, my God. God, that is turning into a very, very, very beautiful ship. Although, all of the ships in my hangar except the 300 have a very special place in my heart for one reason or another. The 300, the only reason I got it is I needed something just push me that little bit over concierge level. Uh, I ended up going to Boston and it was nice to get in a little earlier. So, yeah. And I think by far this is the best visibility in any of the cockpits in the Avenger. Yeah, so there you have it. Uh, Fairly average, I mean, once you get away from the far end of the hangar, just because of the level of detail and everything else, you know, once you get away from down here, looking this way where you see all the fog and the, the ships and everything else, uh, you're running a pretty solid 30 frames on a single card on a laptop that um, I paid with shipping and a couple of accessories under $900 for, uh, which is amazing. Now, this isn't going to replace my desktop by any means. I definitely plan on uh, primarily gaming from it, but I did need a laptop for school and for work, and this fit the bill, and uh, you know, I wanted something that I would be able to play on the road too, just in case, or if I want to run down to a friend's house and game down at his house and not have to lug around my desktop and monitor and keyboard and mouse, cables, so yeah, not bad at all. Uh, we'll come back, probably won't be tonight just because the amount of time I've spent on making stuff and you know, then turning around and having the, the main project of the night fail. So, I think we'll come back maybe tomorrow or Monday with a uh, 1080p version of this where we'll run around, look at things, poke things, and uh, personally 1080p is unplayable. 720 on this laptop, very playable. Um, I can't wait to get my hands on the arena commander and do an updated video and see how it goes but for now have a wonderful day evening night wherever you're at whatever you're doing and we'll see you in the verse